Hi, Geminis. Welcome to your reading. All right, so let's get into your energy, Gemini. You guys are the last sign I'm doing for today. All right, guys, so I know last month I said I was going to be giving away a bunch of free readings, and I still am going to be giving away a bunch of free readings. I'm going to be giving away two free readings every day for 30 days, um, guys. But uh, I also said last month that my daughter was sick, and then also, guys, Corona has found my family. So I've been dealing with that, but I have took some time off of work so that I can focus more on doing some readings for you guys and dealing with the other situations okay so guys um since there's 21 days in next month i think that i'm going to start those free readings those two free readings every day on the 21st of this month okay so don't forget to sub here and be on the lookout for that also, guys, if this message does resonate with you guys, please don't forget to like, share, and comment. It really does help my channel. This reading will be timeless, so whenever you find this message, if it resonates, it was meant for you. All right, so what is the message for my Geminis? Messages for my Geminis out there. What is the message for my Geminis? Messages for my Geminis. Okay. All right, Geminis. So we have the Two of Cups coming out. This is the partnership card, okay? It could be dealing with the Scorpio. We have the death card on the bottom of the deck. All right, so a lot of movement within your connection. Um, it, this could be ending a connection or this could be moving forward and some type of transition happening within your connection. So let's clarify. Tell me about this Two of Cups for my Geminis out there. In this deck, this is the partnership card. This is the true love card, okay? All right, so we have the Knight of Coins coming out. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or P Pisces, Capricorn. <laughs> Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay, guys, um, bear with me. This is my sixth reading. Um, so I'm going to try to articulate this for you guys, okay? Um, so with this coming out, I do feel like there's this energy of um, something that you're just in this. When it comes to love, I feel like Gemini, you're more like I'm thinking very practically, okay? I'm thinking very practically, and I just heard proactively, okay? Um, now, we do have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This can be about conflict. Um, we also have the King of Swords coming out here. Somebody that's trying to be kind of controlling. I'm hearing a lot of you guys, you're dealing with that at work, especially with that Knight of Coins here, because the Two of Cups can be a partnership when it comes to work. Let's see what else comes out. Okay. So next to the C, next to the Knight of Coins is the uh, um, Ten of Coins. Okay, so um, some of you guys, a partnership at work is coming out. Um, something that you're like trying your best, trying very hard um, at something. Okay, um, I feel like you're really needing to be on your P's and Q's at work. And I feel like you are because the Page of Swords is here in this deck. It means on guard and also new information. So you know that you're being watched particularly particularly at work okay some of you guys there's a lot of stability and love that's coming out here with this uh coming out but for some reason i'm hearing work your work environment some of you guys work with your partner or you're building a business with your partner Eight. 
we have the six of cups coming out so um past the energy is here thinking about the past quite a bit um the past thinking about you and look at that the six of wands um this is victory and progress okay so um i feel like you're looking really good to somebody in your past yeah look at that somebody from your past is thinking about you whether they're taking action or not i feel like a lot of people from your past are watching you gemini okay these are people who things didn't work out with with that tower there and there's the world card like you completed a cycle with this person i feel like you're looking very victorious to this person in fact you may look like you're in love um some of you guys this is multiple people from the past that just watch you we have six six coming out right there a lot of karmic energy coming out um but you you appear to have a lot of money to this person or you appear to be doing just fine financially to this person maybe you've even moved on and, and you're in a new connection okay but i do feel like you have people from the past that is watching you here all right we have the king of cups coming out here okay so this is somebody who's um loving caring and very empathetic okay someone who's showing you a lot of action okay so um i do feel like a lot of you guys are just moving forward to whatever your goals your dreams are your ambitions are a lot of you guys are focused on self-love um some of you guys um there's some type of productivity or some type of progress that is coming from some type of um, business and uh, business venture that you're doing some of you guys you care for people okay so you may be in like the nursing field or something of that nature where you take care of people that's coming out messages for my Gemini's bunch of cards full out. Give me just a second. I have to pick those up. Okay. All right. Let me make sure they're all flipped up. That was the king of um, swords again. And this deck, it means dominant and uh, stern. So we have the six of coins coming out. Okay, it's coming out under the ten of coins. Okay, so um, I feel like Gemini, you've been very helpful to people, um, particular people who are not doing as good as you are. Um, you're helping people out because perhaps you have the finances. You're very, you're, you're at this time. You're coming out as very empathetic and very caring. Okay, um, so I feel like you're helping somebody out. Yet again, another six coming out. We have the six of wands, the six of cups, and the six of coins. All of these sixes aren't necessarily bad, but you have a lot of karmic energy connected to your past. So it's almost like something is, it's your turn. It's your turn for something to turn out right. It's your turn for some type of financial gain to come in. It's your turn to have a faithful partnership, um, some type of faith relationship it's your turn that's what I'm hearing what else for my Gemini's it's your turn to shine and I feel like you are shining with that six of wands something is victorious for you or at least it appears to be victorious to the people um, who's watching you people from the past What else for my Gemini? Okay. 
yeah, the road card. Completion and achievements are here, okay? So you did complete a cycle with some type of past karmic energy here, okay? Um, And now you're moving into something that's way more abundant. I don't care how far in the past this is. You're finally about to start reaping some type of benefit, Um from whatever that past energy is and look at that i knew i saw the empress this is about fertility and nurturing um obviously some of you guys um there's a success successful pregnancy so if you've been worried about if your baby's gonna be healthy or not you're there's success because she's coming under the six of wands it will be fine your baby is going to be fine but a lot of you guys this is a project you're nurturing a business you're nurturing especially with that ten of coins there yes there's been slow progress but the more that you nurture this uh business this venture this craft um it's going to pay off for you okay um some type of new beginning is being offered to you something that you have wished for okay um it does require you to take a lot of leaps of faith okay um, and everybody just doesn't have the strength to do that. It's kind of what I'm hearing also, but it will require you to be very trusting, very carefree and not care about failing the more the, because if you've never heard it, you have to fail to become, become successful. All successful people have failed. Okay. But guess what? They got back up. They learned from those mistakes and it really helped them because I feel like with that 10 of coins coming out there, um, you're working your way towards that. You see this knight of coins facing this 10 of coins. Like I'm walking towards that 10 of coins. I'm moving towards that. The knight of pentacles is a very slow moving energy, but it is about to be your time to shine. Okay. Is it what I keep hearing? Okay. Um, and with the full card here, some type of new beginning that is a wish fulfillment, something that's going to be very successful. Come Coming out of the pessimism stage, coming out of depression, also with that five of cups in the reverse. All right, so let's see. Whatever you nurture will be successful. So if you start nurturing something, nurturing is putting that time and energy into it. It's going to pay off, okay? We have, yeah, because look, you're meant to be the star, and we have Aquarius energy coming out. You're meant to be the star. And right now you're looking like the star to certain people because you're being very ambitious right now, okay? Um, you're also able to help people out more than you've ever been able to help people out. There's also this connection to spirituality that is coming out here, okay? You're, be, you're being gifted some type of spiritual gifts here, um, particularly financial spiritual gifts, and you're being being guided to make sure you're very cautious about how you're spending your time, your energy, and your money, okay? All right, especially with that six of coins over it. We, you notice we have all pentacles here, okay? So you have a lot of money that could be coming in, but you may be spending a lot of money. And this is telling you to not do that, to use your resources very, very wisely and watch how you spend money, what you're spending money on, and um, also what you're investing your time in. What are you nurturing, okay? Because again, there's some type of wish fulfillment that is coming in for you and you're also being told to check your pride as you come up because it's your time to shine do not come from a prideful place because spirit is saying you could be knocked right back down so make sure you're not coming from a prideful place all right so what else for my gemini's And this card keeps wanting to pop out for you guys. I've seen it so many times while I've been shuffling your cards. Spiritual cleansing. It's time to do a spiritual cleanse. Whatever that means to you. Cleanse yourself of the old stagnant negative energy. Cleanse yourself of old people, places, and things. Okay. We'll see if it comes out. What else for my Gemini's out there? What else for my Gemini's? Okay. 
seven or eight. We got two cards coming out here that was flipped over. First of all, we have the emperor, okay? The emperor is the boss. The emperor is someone who sticks to what they believe in and they're not budging, okay? Um, I feel like, especially with that six of cups there, um, some of you guys, something about a father figure is coming out here, okay? Um, others of you guys, I feel like, you know, you're just being very, very set, very, very disciplined about not going back to something of the past, that whether it's a past way, um, a past person, a past job, you know, and then the emperor is all of, this is the entrepreneur, Okay, so you're stepping out on a limb and I'm seeing with that six of cups, there's something from your childhood that you always wanted to do. You're going to do it. You're going to start that business that from a child you've always wanted to do. Maybe from a child you've always wanted to own your own business. Well, you're doing it with that emperor there. Okay, you've made a lot of decisions to move away from um people who were sneaky and uh, because the seven of swords is sneakiness and thievery in this you've came to your conclusions and you've awakened to something about these people okay you've learned the lesson connected to people who are shaky shasty sh uh, shy and shady okay now these cards didn't flip up so i'm not gonna put them out but i feel like if there's a because and there's people around you that perhaps don't necessarily feel you deserve the success that is coming in for you. You have sneaky people around. You could be people you work with, okay? Could be people you work with that, with that emperor there. But not only that, could be some, because this is the boss card. So it could be some of the people who work for you, okay? So definitely watch out for that. I feel like you know you know that already. It's nothing surprising. You have competition around you. Three of Cups, okay? So um, you have a lot of uh, things to celebrate. You're going to have a lot of accomplishments, especially with that Six of Wands, that Empress, and the Three of Cups there. This is like the things that you should be celebrating. Like you have so much to celebrate, particularly about your growth, partic particularly about your business, about um, success. Like you have that uh, a lot of recognition coming in for you, people who want to party with you, spend time with you. But look at this, five of wands. What I just say, you have competition around you. You have people who may not feel like you deserve that stability, or may not deserve that happiness, or may not deserve that business. Okay, you have people around you who we call them haters these days, or some people around you who's jealous, some people around you who view you as competition I don't even feel like you're paying attention to these people you've already took note of these people and you're just going to keep outshining them especially with that seven uh, that six of wands there okay all right so let's go ahead and check in um with I don't feel like this is necessarily a love reading and we do have love coming out but we also have partnerships coming out so let's just Take a look at the people around you. How are they feeling? The people or the person around Gemini. How do they really feel? The people or the person around. Okay. So again, we have work life coming out. Okay. So um, with work life coming out here, these people around you, they see you as someone who's hardworking. But I also feel like these people around you um, almost want to take your position, okay? They feel like they want to take your position, okay? Because you're shining, because you're the star, okay? And I feel like, what did I say? Everybody doesn't feel like you deserve this. This would be somebody from your past who feels like you broke their heart, okay? Um, this could be three different people. From your past because we have three three coming out here okay so all i would say is that you know there's people who's behind you 
who watches you, who's trying to take tips and trying to come up, but you're going to continue to be victorious. People are going to continue to see you grow and continue to see you shine because it's just your time. And whatever is meant for Gemini, nobody can take that away from them. You do have people spying, okay? These people spy on you, okay? But you already know about these people. You know who they are. Your intuition, even if it's an intuition, it's like this person is watching you. You already know. All right, so let's check in with Gemini. How is Gemini feeling? How is my Gemini feeling? Okay. All right, Gemini, you're in your element, the lovers. Okay, so romance and commitment is here. Okay, you're committing to something, whether it be love, some type of partnership. Okay, this is the soulmate card. Okay, so there's some type of soulmate that is driving you at this time. Okay, somebody who you find very sexy, very courageous, very driven. Okay, I feel a lot of you guys, you work with this person with the seven of coins here, but you're willing to invest the time into this person. Okay, um, some of you guys, this is a partnership in business, okay, that is going to be really good for you. Um, it's going to grow you. It's going to bring in a new, a lot of new ideas, a lot of creativity for you, okay? Um, lots of good things coming in for you, Gemini. It's just your time to shine, and that's what I keep hearing. Whatever you put work into is going to grow for you. All right, so let's get some advice for my Geminis. And then we'll wrap this reading up. Advice for my Geminis. Advice for my Geminis. Okay, that popped out quick. All right, we have the hanged man coming out, um, Piscean energy. This says a temporary pause for reflection and insight, an awakening where you see things in a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness. This is you being able to help other people out. Um, you notice this person, things are being shaken up and they're upside down and things are falling out. So I think I feel like things are being shooken up in your life right now. But everything is going to fall into place perfectly for you. And there's the strength card. Okay, we saw this. Um, um, this is about personal power and assertiveness. This is... Um, kindness. This is compassion that brings about forgiveness. This is realizing that you are stronger than you ever knew. And then we have the star card. This is about, you have this card, okay? Have faith that the future is bright. Dreams that come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. And I have to take this because I kept saying, I feel like it's about work. This is do what you love. Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors. Being paid well for your services and for your craft. Working well with others. Having an excellent reputation. And then we have the Ace of um, Swords, brilliant ideas that need refinement. So whatever your business is, maybe you need to refine some things to make it more professional or to um, make it really pop. But this is telling you to just bring those into, uh, to make those changes, make those refinement. And then we have the Five of Wands again. This is, again, competition. This is conflicts caused by opposing opinions. This is you walking away from drama unless you really feel like the situation is worth your time this is about having competition and standing up for yourself all right gemini i do hope that that message did resonate with you and i'll talk to you guys later